Hey guys, Dr. Dane here, and I hope you're having a fantastic spring day. It's absolutely gorgeous here on the East Coast. Just took a walk with Tucker and my wife, and I hope you guys did something relaxing as well. I wanted to talk to you about something that happened yesterday and something that we're really, I think, going to be focused on at the two-day event that we're doing on June 2nd and 3rd at Dr. Justin's office. We're going to be doing a day one, day two event, and I was reviewing uh, a day one consultation um, with Dr. Chris Warziniak from New Jersey yesterday. And at the end, he said, man, there's so many things that you do, so many little things that you do to connect with people. And I thought about that and I'm like, yeah, the little things are the big things. And my mom always taught me that the little things are the big things. And I think it's so important, guys, to put time and effort into thinking about your consultation, your evaluation, your communication, your report of findings, your care plan templates and how you create your care plan, your finances and how you go over that. There's so much to the day one, day two. And I think it's critical. I think so many times we're focused on new patients. We're not really focused on closing those new patients. And you know, I've learned in 31 years of practice, I don't need a lot of new patients because we close at such a high percentage and we give patients such a great experience, they come back. Even if they leave the practice, they've come back. And in 31 years of practice, we have such a volume of people uh, that refer other patients and that come back when they've fallen out of care that we don't need a ton of new patients. And I'm not one of these docs where I need to see, you know, 800 to 1,000 patient visits a week, and God bless you if you do that, um, but that's not my practice. Um, I wanna have a work-life balance, and that's super important to me. Um, I wanna have a great marriage, I wanna have a great relationship with my kids, I wanna put time and energy back into my emotional and physical health, so I want that balance. Uh, so having this type of a practice really works for me. So at that day one, day two, one of the things I think that's really important is really focusing on what you're asking patients. Those, those little questions, those little uh, metaphors that you give to patients to get them out of the symptom mindset and more into the function mindset. One of the great questions we talked about yesterday with Dr. Chris is just asking a patient, hey, tell me about your health. Instead of tell me, telling me about your pain, tell me about your health. So imagine if somebody asked you that question, tell me about your health versus tell me about your pain. Tell me about your pain is very um, small, is a small thing about their health, but it doesn't encompass everything that you need to know about their health. Their health, how they experience their body and how they experience life is a reflection of their lifestyle, what they're doing in their life. And we want people to feel great and have a great quality of life, but that's predicated on them living the chiropractic lifestyle. And that's really what we're gonna go over in this day one, day two. How do we move people out of the pain and symptom mindset and more into the function, physiology, quality of life and lifestyle mindset? So I hope to see you guys there June 2nd and 3rd. If you're not registered, get registered, get your docs registered. I know I'm bringing my associate doctor, Dr. Christine, and we're looking forward to seeing you at Justin's office. Like always guys, this is a chance for us to fellowship together, um, to really connect with one another and, and to have fun, have a great time. So we'll see you there.